Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Cooking Con Amanda. Um, I am home alone tonight. My husband is out of town on work, so I am going to change it up a little bit and do a dish um, in our microwave pasta cooker. So it's a dish for one. Um, so just to give you a chance to, um, or give myself a chance to highlight um, and show you what this baby can do. We're going to be making a caprese pasta. Um, so we'll be using our microwave pasta cooker as well as our quick slice and then some of our measuring and mixing tools as well to throw this together. Um, so it's just one serving and it, it won't take much time at all to get together. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so what you will need, of course, is your microwave pasta cooker, which comes with just these two pieces. It's a ceramic bowl on the bottom and then a silicone lid at the top. Um, which is vented for, um, you know, draining and then also for, you know, your steam to escape. So what we need to do um, is we're going to combine um, about two ounces. It called for rotini pasta, but I had um, uh, just a little bit of leftover bow tie pasta, which is just about the right amount of pasta, the two ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Um, but it does call for the rotini, which is like the... Um, corkscrews. So I'm going to add the two ounces of that and then I have a quarter, a cup and a quarter of water which I have measured in my measure all um, on the liquid side which you can see is the blue arrow up. So I have my liquids inside here and I'm going to use my pour spout. And we're just going to pour that in um, to our pasta cooker. I'm just going to squish that down there. All right so we're going to put the lid on the bat and then what we're going to do is I'm going to pop it in the microwave behind me um, just on regular high um, heat for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to get started on getting everything else together. So excuse my back while I turn around here. Pop that in. 10 minutes. Okay. So. Now what we're going to do, um, this, what this calls for is the two ounces of the pasta, the cup and a half of the water, and then also some um, pre-cooked Italian style chicken sausage, which they had a bunch of different types of pre-cooked sausages, um, like right kind of where the bacon and the breakfast sausages. Um, we're also going to use about a half a cup of cherry tomatoes. I just have some uh, heirloom variety. Um, we're going to use two ounces of mozzarella. It called for the mozzarella balls. They didn't have that, but they did have the fresh, fresh um, mozzarella, which will slice. And then I'm going to top mine off with a little bit of grated Parmesan, um, which I didn't call for. Um, but I'm just going to add that. And then we also um, are going to be um, needing to use a little bit of, it called for fresh basil. I didn't have that. I had this, which is called partially dry basil, but we'll sprinkle that on at the end. And then we're also going to need, um, a, let's see, one teaspoon of our garlic and herb rub from Pampered Chef. And then we will need um, a half a tablespoon of our olive oil. So what we're going to do, using our quick slice, um, which does come with three pieces, we have this bottom piece here, um, which if you remove it, you can see your items can, you know, kind of come through the bottom. Once you cut them, um, you place it on there, it'll kind of keep them in there. So we're going to leave that on. And then you have, these are your blades. Let's see. You know, it's, it's difficult to see. But they correspond to the grooves in the base. So you're going to place your items here. And then line your blades up. And then you'll just slice right through. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut the sausage, the tomatoes, and the mozzarella. Um, I've got some one-cup one prep bowls here that I'm just going to separate those into once I cut them. Um, so we're going to start first with the sausage. So I'm just going to lay that on there longwise so I'll get nice slices. Line that up. And then you're just going to slice. And we can just pour those, oops, we lost one, right into our bowl. So there we've got our sliced sausage. Um, next we're gonna do our tomatoes. And I really do like this quick slice for items such as tomatoes or um, that sausage um, in like uh, mushrooms. 
because you're able to lay um, all of these little teeny items on here at once and chop them at the same time or slice them. That's why, hence the name, quick slice. Um, but also like for grapes, it'd be great for something like that. Um, so we've got our tomatoes. We're gonna pop them into a bowl. We've got two stragglers there that are lost. And then finally, we are going to do our mozzarella. Now it's pre-sliced this way, um, so I'm just gonna lay it on here this way and slice it and hopefully get some little smaller uh, slice sections. So there we go. Yeah, that worked out perfect. And actually, so I've got great slices. I'm gonna turn it this way. There's slices out. And then slice it one more time. Because we're going to add that right at the very end. So I want to give it a nice chance to melt. So since we weren't able to find those balls, um, but that gave us some nice slices of that. So we've got all of our ingredients sliced. Um, so we're just waiting for the pasta in there. But while we are waiting, um, I am going to go ahead and, like I said, grate some additional Parmesan cheese, um, which is not in the recipe. I always have the hardest time. This um, is not a Pampered Chef um, fine grater, but we do have a fine adjustable uh, microplane, which, you know, I would highly recommend. It is a little more safer to handle than this microplane um, as far as the way in which it is set up. Um, it's a lot more stable. Um, this is just one that I happen to already have, so I'm just using that um, and some cheese that I had um, left over from a previous recipe. So I'm just going to put that, pop that back in a bag. I'll get rid of him in the fridge. So then I've got my cheese there for the top. The mozzarella is going to go on at the top at the end, as well as the basil. Um, what we're going to want to do now is kind of make the little, we're not really doing a sauce with this. It's kind of um, just uh, olive oil and the herb rub mix that we're going to put on the pasta. Um, so what we need to do is combine our rub. So here, this is the garlic and herb rub. This is great on anything. Um, I've used it from, um, you know, like fillets, pretty much anything. It's just a good spice blend. So we need about a tablespoon of that. I'm sorry, a teaspoon. One teaspoon of that. Now, what that was my adjustable measuring spoon um, that I used. And then we also are going to need two tablespoons. No, I'm sorry. I am just all messed up here. I have a tablespoon, so that would have been a lot um, of uh, olive oil. So, yeah, just for the one serving. Don't want to make it too greasy there. So we've got an olive oil measured. So we're done with that. So we have all of our ingredients together. Um, so what we're gonna do, I'm using my little mini stainless steel whisk here and another one of my one cup measuring bowls just to kind of whisk that together. Um, that fits perfect in there. It's a small, small size. So we've got that together. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break here. We're going to let, let that pasta finish, and then we'll come back together um, and get this finished up. So just hang on real quick.